Uh, tip number four, practice. And I know that it's cheesy. Don't practice for interviews. That's just what the Career Chase Center, Chase Career Center tells you to do. Whatever. But it actually, it's a big help. I, my mom, I actually went to D.C. to interview at uh, with Octagon, and my mom helped me to get to the to the office and things like that. And she said, "Oh, do you wanna do you wanna practice?" And I was just like, uh, "No, I don't." I don't want to practice with you, you know, but I, I did, and it paid off because she was able to pick up on things that I didn't think of, that I didn't notice that I was doing wrong, or just make sure that I was being professional. So um, I know that uh, they can help you to, they'll give you an opportunity because they might ask you something you weren't prepared for or, you know, go in a different direction, and that just helps you to see how you want to work in, you know, your talking points or see if you, maybe that doesn't ap apply as much as you thought it might. And so this is just an opportunity to get, you know, the first round jitters out and really perform strong and during your interview. Um, also, uh, just the feedback that they give you would definitely be helpful um, because, you know, once you're out in front of the, the interviewers, it, you know, you never know. Uh, whether what they're thinking, but if you get somebody that's open and can give you positive feedback um, or critiques, you know it'll it might go a long way. And also, along with the practice, is just think of maybe some questions they might ask. You know, what's your biggest weakness? You know, it might sound cliche, but how would do you know how you would answer something like that? You know, well, why do you want to join the company? They might ask you that. They might not. But just knowing kind of what you might say in certain situations will help you to, to be prepared. During my interview, um, I know I skipped through it a little bit earlier, but my interview process included the first round uh, was just, uh, I applied, had an application project, and it was pretty intense. Um, and the application project, which they just said, put together a project and you have no idea what anybody else is doing. There are hundreds of other applicants, but you, it's just the pressure was on you to make sure you put together something that distinguished you. And so I put that together, and then once I got through the first round of screening, I had an in-person interview. I started with a uh, the elevator pitch, which is just, I literally had to walk in the room, tell them who I was, what I was applying for, you know, why, they, why I had interest, and all these things within 30 seconds. And then I had a presentation, 15-minute presentation, and I had questions, uh, question and answers with a panel of about six uh, current employees. So it was pretty pressurized, and, you know, they might have been, I didn't know if they, they had a long day, I didn't know if they'd be bored. And so I just wanted to capture their attention, um, but I really felt like being prepared uh, really helped me get through that situation. Tip number five is just... Make a good impression. Um, this would be, in most cases, this would be their first impression of you. Um, so you want to do all the little things uh, and make them just make them see that you're the type of person they want in their organization. You know, you want to be kind, polite, be uh, grateful, uh, be charming. You know, just to to make an impression on them to make them think, yeah, I would love to have this intern around because you know, on the grand scheme of things, if you're an intern, if you're an entry level employee, you know. To be honest, you don't matter a whole lot. Whether in a lot of situations, you know, you might be doing tedious things, but if you really do have a positive outlook, positive attitude, show that you're a hard worker, you know, they'll say, well, you know, maybe he will make a difference, and maybe he will be, uh, you know, just a positive around the office. So you want to do all the small things. You want to smile, dress for success, make eye contact, uh, enunciate, be clear when you talk to them, and just uh, let them know that. You're the kind of person that will really do well within their organization. And so, gonna that's pretty much the end of my, those are my five tips. Um, but I'm going to review and see if anybody remembers, I guess, the different, the different tips. So tip number one, anybody remember? And I might have candy uh, for somebody. So tip number one, anybody remember tip number one? Hands, hands. What? Well, preparation. So, so, no. I guess. I guess. Yeah, come on. Let me put the hands up there before they finish answering. Yeah. Tip number two. Tip number two. Total points. 
Is that what talking points? Oh. I don't think so. What did you say? Talking points. No, nope. that's later. That's late. That's a later tip. Tip number two. Uh -huh. I guess I'm gonna be keeping my candy. Nobody wants to. Yep. <laughs> Tell your network. Tell your network. Alright. Are you what are you looking at? Stickers? Alright. Tip number three. Bye. Uh, wait, wait. Let's get a non e board member here. Tip number tip number three. Mike may or not have said it before. Uh talking what's your name? Trevor. Trevor? Talking points. I have Twizzlers, Skittles. Good choice. Alright, so tip number four. Anybody tip number four? And no tip, you can't answer. <laughs> no. Common interview questions like look them up, prepare yourself or whatever. Practice, that's close enough. Snickers or Snickers. And number five, just at this one. <laughs> Charming. Prepare for a dance off. <laughs> uh, prepare for a dance off. Uh, I don't know how accurate that is. Um, but what was number five? I mean, I'll just keep these scissors. Uh, it was make a good impression. Um, <laughs> so those are those are my five tips. Um, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna. Email this out um, uh, for people, but real quick for now, we're going to do just a quick kind of activity. Um, it kind of just recaps the different, the different tips. I know that you can't do it all in, in this setting, but what you want to do is grab a partner. And we're only going to go over the, the ones in red, not the ones in blue, but um, there are just a few. See, the first question is, what are the responsibilities of the job? And, well, just to backtrack a little bit, we're going to think about your dream job. Whatever you want to do, whether it's in the sports industry or not. And the reason why I thought of the dream job is because most people have some idea of, you know, what their dream job entails. For me, it might be be the general manager of the Chicago Bulls. So, kind of know, maybe, whether it's accurate or not, I have some kind of idea of what a GM does uh, in the NBA. So... I think that I think that, that just relating it to your dream job will give you an opportunity to kind of just talk about it openly and hopefully make some connections. But the first one relates to researching and what are the responsibilities of the job, researching job duties. Number two is do you have any possible connections to the industry that would be tell your network. And then number three would be the develop talking points. So I'm going to do a real quick exercise with Raphael here. Uh, Raphael, the secretary of ADS. <laughs> so, Raphael, first off, what's your dream job? My dream job is to be the editor in chief of a major hip hop magazine. Very nice. And no clap. clap after. <laughs> after we after. Uh, what are the responsibilities of, of being the editor of a magazine? The main responsibilities of the job are to manage the magazine on a day-to-day -day basis, which is the internet, like the website, and then also come up with ideas, interview artists, etc., etc., manage all the other editors and writers in the magazine. Nice, nice. And do you have any possible connections to the industry? Um, yes, I do. Uh, I've interviewed a few rappers on campus at UMass. I interviewed Ludacris sophomore year. And I interviewed a rapper, Casey Veggies. I started a hip-hop club at UMass, Real Music Exposed. Don't mind the plug. Uh, and, yeah, uh, I, I manage an artist right now. And I know a few managers in the industry. So, And I also interned for The Source. I forgot that. Source Magazine, hip-hop magazine, this past summer. Sounds like you have plenty of people in your network to tell. Um, what would you talk about in an interview for this job? I would talk about a lot of the things that I talked about just now, but I guess in different wording. Uh, I would say what I've done initially by myself without any help or any connections in the industry to meet people, to talk to people, to start a club and to run a freestyle competition, how to get in contact with artists, how I did that by myself, and how I started that, and yeah, just what type of leadership positions I've taken. Also,